temporal space. Uh, in this model, I have removed the mandible so that you can visualize the upper part of infratemporal space nicely. So here, in this model, you can see that the uh, anterior portion. Here is the anterior portion of this infratemporal space. This is the medial surf medial part here, and this is the posterior part of this infratemporal space. Right. So anterior portion is bounded here. You can see by the posterior surface of this maxilla that is the infratemporal surface of the maxilla then you have the part of sphenoid bone here medially part of uh, pterygoid plates medially you have the both the medial and lateral pterygoid plates as a boundary here and then posteriorly you have the uh, styloid process here okay so this th this forms the posterior surface now we shall add mandible to this model to visualize the lower part lower portion of the uh, infratemporal space so let us see in the color diagram so now you can visualize that how the infratemporal space is located medial to the mandible how it is located medial to the mandible i'll, I'll hide the wet vertebrae so that we can see it better so now you can see that this is the this is how the infratemporal space is located medial to the mandible and involving the pterygoid plates uh, medially so that is the medial limit so nicely visualize this thing okay i can explain you a bit more I'll section the skull here to show you how the muscles are arranged and okay so the medial pterygoid muscle is attached on the angle of mandible and the pterygoid plate and the infratemporal space lies uh, medial to the ramus of the mandible and lateral to the medial pterygoid muscle so between these two structures the ramus of the mandible and the the pterygoid muscles you have got the lower portion of the infratemporal space the upper portion of the infratemporal space it lies lat uh, sorry medial to the temporalis muscle and lateral to the sphenoid bone okay let us see that also so somewhere somewhere here there will be temporalis muscle so the space lies lateral to this temporalis so medial to the temporalis muscle and lateral to that part of the sphenoid bone okay so i hope you have understood this one thing one should remember that the uh, masticator space and the infratemporal fossa space these are two spaces that are uh, very uh, like anatomically located near to each other see mandible itself is not a part of infratemporal space okay now the infratemporal space will lie somewhere here medial to the mandible okay all these portions will be there here and this this portion will be the infratemporal space you see the it is it is including both the medial and lateral pterygoid muscle and also medial to it there will be parapharyngeal space and then the pharyngeal mucosa will be here okay somewhere suppose in red i will draw the pharyngeal sub, sub, somewhere here there will be there there will be the pharyngeal mucosal space somewhere here this this portion will be pharyngeal mucosal space here you, you will have parapharyngeal fat and then you will have this infratemporal space which includes the uh, parapharyngeal space also in it okay now uh, what about the masticator space the masticator space it involves the mandible it involves the masseter okay so the masticator space will be somewhere like this it will involve the masseter it will involve the mandible 
it will involve the medial pterygoid muscle and lateral pterygoid muscle so this is how will be the masticator space here will be the masseter muscle here you will have some somewhere here medial pterygoid muscle and then lateral pterygoid muscle so all this will be all these things will be part of masticator space okay so this is masticator space and the if you extend the masticator space here involve the parapharyngeal space it becomes itf but you will have to remove what the itf we won't include the mandible and the masseter okay so this is the itf so that's it about this uh, basic differences uh, okay so in these diagrams you can also see the anatomical structures at the roof of the infratemporal space so at the roof of the infratemporal space you have the you have the uh, here i'll show you this is the portion you have the foramen well foramen spanosum okay so these are the areas which you will be uh, you should know while you are clearing the infratemporal space uh, cancers okay so yeah so now i'll be showing you the same infratemporal space in coronal section so let us start first i will uh, cut the main cut the whole uh, skull from a portion where i can make you understand so suppose i'll cut the whole thing here and okay, like this okay now i'll show you now here in this diagram you can see the pterygoid plates the mandible cut end okay nicely you can see these structures and here it's very easy to explain you regarding the itf so the itf will be located somewhere somewhere like this okay it will include parapharyngeal space also and it will stay medial to the mandible okay and the masticator space will be located where the masticate masticator space will be located somewhere like this it will include the masseter muscle the mandible the medial pterygoid and the pterygoid plates like this okay so this is the masticator space thank you